Hello. In this tutorial video, we will use timer 0 module of AT Mega 32 MCU to operate in fast pulse width modulation, PWM, mode. PWM generates analog voltage output from the MCU digital pin. It's useful for controlling some analog electronic devices, for example a DC motor. In this programming example the MCU will generate a PWM output signal from PB3 pin with a frequency of 15.625 kHz, and 50% duty cycle. Here we will import only one library, that is the io.h file. Source codes in main function will be very short here. The 8-bit output compare register 0, or the OCR0 is used to set the PWM duty cycle. I set it to 127 to get a PWM signal with 50% duty cycle. PB3 pin of port B is set to output direction, as it's the PWM output pin. Its name is output compare 0, or OC0 pin. To select fast PWM mode, we will need to set some bits of the timer counter control register 0, TCCR0. Here we select fast PWM mode, and non-inverting output. I will not describe the detail of these bits here. Again, the clock select bit 00 of timer counter control register 0, TCCR0 must be set to obtain a prescaler of 1. It affects the PWM output frequency. Finally we will get the PWM frequency of 15.625 kHz, and 50% duty cycle. Main program loop is idle. We don't need to write any code to operate the PWM here, as we already set it up. Now it is ready to build the solution to get the hex file for microcontroller. Here I prepare a circuit simulation for this programming example. I begin by placing all required components, and wiring the circuit. In this block, I prepare the reset circuit for MCU. It consists of one 10k ohm resistor, and a push button. Reset signal is active low. Whenever it's pressed the MCU will come to reset state. Here we cannot see the MCU power supply pins, the VCC, and GND, because they are already connected to power rail in the simulator.
In simulator, a clock circuit is not important to the MCU, as it can be set in the component properties. But in real world this clock circuit must be constructed properly. Here I use a 4 MHz crystal oscillator. 222 PF capacitor will stabilize the oscillation. Now I place an virtual oscilloscope to see the PWM output signal from OC0 pin. I open its properties window to set some parameters, and select its firmware, clock frequency is 4 MHz, that will be set here. I find, and select its hex file that is just generated before. Now I click on run button to start the simulation. I will need to adjust the time scale to see the timing waveform in oscilloscope. As we can see the PWM period is around 64 microseconds. So its frequency is 15.625 kHz. Now I place a virtual frequency counter to verify its frequency. In operating mode, I choose frequency. Now we can see its frequency of 15.625 kHz in virtual frequency counter. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.